the title of our talk was, is it worth it? So that's a great question. Um, we answered it in about 30 minutes. Just to sum it up, yes, uh, it's totally worth it. We loved creating uh, the OERs we use in our course. Uh, the creative aspect was amazing. It was great work and our students are definitely seeing the benefits and all the feedback we've gotten so far is essentially um, students enjoying the, the review and the interactivity and, and using them in our courses has been great. Yeah, so I think making education more accessible by not having um, to pay for the resources and in, in addition to tuition is definitely a huge benefit. So, And also as instructors, we're seeing the benefit because we don't have to wait for publishers to get our textbook. We have control of our resource. And if we want to update it, we can update it. If we need to change things, we can do that in the, right away. So, mm -hmm, Absolutely. I think uh, anytime we're working in open spaces, it's... Uh, there's so much value to everyone who's involved. There's, you know, in, in this area, there's the conversation about making education more affordable and accessible. That's the thing that most people think about first off. But really, the set of open pedagogies and practices are a much more humanized approach to learning. Mm -hmm. They think about learning as a... Uh, as a a negotiated space. It's where you're you're co-creating things with students. Um, they're deeply involved in learning, and and that's got to be better than a transmission model, yeah, only transmission, yeah. right? From so, a to B. from A to B, yeah. yeah, that's not what. And students who are involved in things like you know co-creating open textbooks, for example, I've done some of that work with my students, and like you see their the value that they see and when they can and the pride that they have when they can say on my resume, here's a chapter that I contributed to. It's amazing. For an undergraduate student, that's an amazing thing to get at. I think it's absolutely worth it. Uh, you know, I get to work in a lot of different areas. Uh, my research is actually about rural broadband primarily, uh, but I also do uh, copyright literacy. And I think, you know, anything that we can produce that's for the public uh, should be made open and, and then it allows everyone to benefit uh, you know the the paywalls uh, the copyright restrictions on reusing materials uh, are simply encumbrances that don't need to exist so working with open material and, and using open licensing allows everyone to benefit from the knowledge that's often paid for by public dollars I think it's worth it. I think one of the biggest gains is seeing the power that OER can have beyond in institutions, mm -hmm. um, such as like civic engagement and education um, that's community-based learning. So I, I see the power of open beyond educational systems. So. Yeah. Absolutely. I think at the end of the day, it's about providing access to knowledge, access to education, and we can then see the transformative power that education has mm -hmm. in people. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking at the gains as, you know, building a society that is empowered to take us to new, brighter futures, mm -hmm. um, there's no downside to that at all. <laughs> well, being from the global south, I think that Open education is a route to access, and I think access is the first step for um, engagement. You know, if you don't have access, how do we even start to have a conversation? I think it's um, one of the biggest gains, and being in Canada has been so profound because there's attribution and gratitude that is expressed almost pervasively across any occasion, event, conversation. Um, and custom, you know, so I think open is a way to open up sort of perspectives that other people could then form because they, they get to experience something that wouldn't be accessible otherwise. So I think, especially for Indigenous community, there's definitely some benefits for creating OERs alongside of Indigenous folks or allowing Indigenous communities to create OERs so that they're able to um, have them for things like language revitalization, K-12 curriculum, post-secondary, but also for settlers to be able to able to expand their understandings of Indigenous histories, lived experiences here in what's now known as Canada. So it is beneficial. I think. What we've been talking about a lot is that there are tensions with knowledge sharing based off of cultural protocols, understandings about how knowledge is shared. So I think that's the big thing. Yes, OERs are worth it, but it takes some very careful um, understandings of 
culture to be able to create these OERs. And so that's why relationship building, community consultation is really important when especially working with indigenous folks here in Canada. Open education is a way to better distribute uh, all uh, education contents by tackling the intellectual property law issues, but also just by working together, cooperating, which is hard still for teachers and for students, but they like it a lot when they do it, when they understand the ability to have a better impact with their learning outcomes and learning, uh, uh, I mean, uh, teaching uh, courses. So it's, it's really something very dynamic and joyful to work on open education. So one of the gains that we're seeing here, because we're in this moment on the American continent, is costs. It is clear that having some resources that are less costly for the students might help more students to do studies. This is less the case in Europe. In Europe, we've got libraries that are very well fitted. We've got governments which are funding um, in many ways the education. So we don't have exactly the same issues. We've got other issues. I think the main issue in opening education and therefore in uh, using uh, open educational resources is freeing the education. Uh, we're still in a system where people are educating themselves just for now, for this year, and then next year I'll have to educate myself again. And once I finish my years of university, that's it, that's finished. We obviously have to move towards a system where education goes on for the life, and I think open education does give us a number of answers for a completely different vision of education.